Today, brands are everywhere. They're on the clothes we wear, the cars we drive, the equipment we work with, even on our food and drink. But what exactly is a brand? A brand is the way a business distinguishes its products from the products of other businesses. It could be the company's name, or its logo, or trademark. As a concept, branding has dominated modern advertising. In a world where goods are mass-produced and companies compete in a crowded marketplace, a unique brand is often a corporation's most valuable asset. But how important are brands to the people that buy them? What does a brand mean to them? Have they ever paid more just because of the brand of a product? No. I tend to think I'm quite cheap sometimes. I might, might buy a brand if it's in a discounted like store or online or again like in a charity shop but I rarely pay full price if something's expensive. Yes, I have. Um, I'd say I research into the item that I'm buying because um, I want a bit more quality and I want a bit more value for my money. So I usually research and then pay for the brand if I feel it's worth it. Sure. Uh, in some cases, it's justified. If you were to buy a car, an automobile, and you were to buy something like a Porsche or a Ferrari, uh, you know what you're getting and you know there's a lot of research and development that goes into that. Whereas uh, a $300 pair of leather shoes or a belt, I, I don't really feel like that's worth it. Branding is not a modern phenomenon, as the extraordinary story of Harris Tweed, the distinctive fabric produced on the tiny islands of the Outer Hebrides proves. The Outer Hebrides, also known as the Western Isles, are a chain of tiny islands situated off the northwestern coast of Scotland and are home to a population of around 26,000 people. While everyone speaks English, the native tongue of many of the islanders is Gaelic. The largest of the inhabited islands are the Isle of Lewis and the Isle of Harris, the historic home of Harris Tweed. Islanders have woven cloth by hand on the islands for centuries. But in the 1840s, Lady Catherine Murray, the Countess of Dunmore, whose family owned a lot of land on the islands, decided to sell some tweed to her friends in London. The high-quality fabric was an instant success and an industry was born. In 1909, the Harris Tweed Association was founded and the famous Orb trademark was granted. Today, Harris Tweed is a global business with the material being sold all over the world. But the cloth is still made using the old machinery and the techniques of the original weavers. And, uniquely, it's a process and brand that is protected by its own Act of Parliament. Today, the Harris Tweed brand needs protecting. I'm Lorna McCauley. I'm the Chief Executive of the Harris Tweed Authority here in Stornoway in the Outer Hebrides. Harris Tweed Authority inspectors are there at the final stage of the production of the cloth and if satisfied that that cloth meets the terms of the Harris Tweed Act, our stampers or inspectors will apply a physical mark to that cloth to reassure the customer that they are buying genuine Harris Tweed cloth. In order to receive the orb, the material must be made from pure wool and must be hand-woven by weavers working in their own homes on the Outer Hebrides. Harris Tweed to the consumer is a mark of quality, history, heritage, provenance, 
consumers tell us it is their colours and patterns, the depth of colour and pattern that, that means so much to them. Today, as in the past, it's the remarkable natural environment of the islands that inspires the beautiful colours and textures of the fabric. There are just three mills producing cloth on the islands. The mill employees still carefully weigh out different coloured wools that, when mixed together and spun, will create the distinctive yarn that is supplied to the weavers in their homes. Then it is with the experience, skill and artistry of the weavers working on looms powered by just a foot pedal that the cloth is created. The cloth is then checked and finished back in the mill before it receives its orb stamp from the Harris Tweed Authority. The Harris Tweed orb has traditionally always been um, inside as, as a, a quiet, discreet mark. Uh, this is the first time in our trading history of 150 years where the orb is now being used, like other trademarks, as a decoration on the external of the cloth. Today, Harris Tweed is truly an international brand. They produce over 1.5 million metres of cloth a year. And while originally the cloth was used for men's jackets, today it is used in an enormous variety of products, from computer tablet covers and phone cases, to shoes and even dog leads. Harris Tweed is an unlikely success story. It's an industry located on isolated islands that still uses techniques and machinery that have been out of date for over a century. But this is also the brand's greatest advantage. In a world of mass-produced fabric, Harris Tweed still stands for authenticity and craftsmanship and is a guarantee of the highest quality and most beautiful cloth.